Hey everybody! Um, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I left this video for last because we're having a drink. I could be having water in here. But am I? Am I really? What do you even mean? Refreshing! Can you guess what I'm having? If you follow me and you know what I drink that looks very similar to this but could be potentially in a wine glass just because net because please let me know so I put up a I've been filming hey from three videos today I put up a little Q&A kind of thing on Instagram where I was like okay guys how's about you let me know what your assumptions are of me and <laughs> you did you let me know you did let me know i'm just looking for it because now i need to go into my archives to find it and all of that all of that um you definitely did let me know but one thing i will say is that a lot of people seem to have one or two or three assumptions of me um so i was just like oh, really guys so you did let me know here they are i'm going to go through them and a lot of them it's like two or three of the same thing. So we're, I'm going to talk about it in detail. Because I feel like I feel attacked. I feel attacked. And I'll tell you why I feel attacked. What do you even mean? One, simple. You're a hard worker. You're absolutely right. I work. In fact, when I'm not working, I feel like something is wrong. Yesterday, I was, I was bored. I was bored. I didn't know what to do with myself. Because someone special has has left to go visit their family and now a lot of the time over weekends we'd be together So I just I, I was just like oh and guess what I ended up doing clean my whole house clean the, the clean the, the clean the couch But yes, I'm a very hard worker. I don't sleep people think I, 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 I sleep I don't sleep and I feel like Figile is is a person who knows who knows how hard I work so yes, I'm a very, very hard worker and I don't give myself time to rest and that's that's a problem. That's all. But but today, today ko resta today guys. Yal blella ko resta today. The market burn off the market. Burn off the market for a very long time. Very, very long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was off the market, then on it, then in between it, then under it. But currently, definitely, definitely off the market now. Definitely. Your relationship, you are a relationship kind of girl. Um, yes, yes. I feel like I'm my, I'm like my sister in this aspect. I, in, I, I'm, I'm a happier version of myself when I'm in a relationship. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not happy when I'm alone, but I'm a more proactive, productive, um, just, just bouncy, spontaneous, um, just, just a more. Gorky fluid, man, I'm much more happier when I'm in a relationship. I'm just, I, I, I find a zest in life when I'm in a relationship. When I'm single, I mean, I still enjoy my life and uh, I'm not seeing anybody and I, I'll go on dates and I'll do this and I'll do that. Um, but when I'm in a relationship, I'm comfortable. I feel like I, I, I find a groove when I'm in a relationship and I, yeah, especially with somebody that I want to be with. Yeah, yeah absolutely you don't take nonsense you tell it like it is correct and correct what do you even mean it's it's the honest truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't take nonsense and i tell it like it is and I, I i don't take prisoners along the way so i don't feel like i mean i feel like i'm i'm quite particular with why how i word things uh, I still don't take nonsense, but I, I do, I feel like I'm quite particular with how I word things. Um, I don't directly, you know, say things to hurt people or what have you. But if I, if I need to tell you that what you're doing is effed up, then I will. I'll tell you that what you're doing is effed up. Simple. You really want to know, I think you're very strict. Now, this is something that I got a lot of. I got a lot of comments about how I am strict. I'm not. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I am not strict. I feel like I should be sometimes a little bit more. I feel like with certain things, maybe I am. Uh, with, with coming to me and coming to me correct, I'm very strict about. You, you just, 
you just can't come up to me and actually think you're talking to a five-year-old that will never happen with me yes i'm very strict about how i am addressed by anyone really even even with 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 my well my parents are the only people that can tell me where to get off and my and my grandmother but aside from that no one else can just come at me sideways and expect me not to react i react very quickly and i and in quarter you strictly you know um also strict about you know demanding and wanting respect and all of that but i'm actually quite a softy when it comes to a lot of things like kids i'm a softy when it comes to kids i cannot for the life of me be strict with children come on children are everything children children are beautiful at some point in your life you consider dating women <laughs> Um, I'm assuming you haven't been following me for a while. I am bisexual. I have said that uh, multiple times on my channel. I've mentioned that. And I did say that I was once in a relationship with a wonderful lady. And it was wonderful. It was great. I don't like to talk about those kinds of... I don't like to talk about relationships and even past relationships. But yes, I do have an eye for women. Because I find women beautiful, beautiful, majestic, golden, just, ugh. and even with my partner, oh man, oh he knows, he knows, partner he knows, he knows, like I'm that one, I'm that one, we could be at a mall and a pretty girl would walk by and I'd be like, like, I, hey, hey, and I was just, I, I was just admiring, honestly, I do that all the time, but a lot of the time, I, I, I just admire beautiful women and I said this in um, a video of mine where I said it's very rare that I will actually date or be in a relationship with a woman because there must be something extra 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 special about her for me to be to, to just take the plunge and be in a relationship with her and I haven't since the, the that one girl that I was with I haven't really met somebody I mean I can be attracted to them but to want to be with them in a relationship and all of that, I haven't quite met that one yet. <laughs> you are very particular and you know exactly what you want. Yep. I mean, what do you even mean? Of course, I'm very particular. I know exactly what I want. I have a certain t style, taste. Uh, I, I don't... Um, I know what I want in, in relationships, in partners, in work in achievements in whatever i'm very very particular and with food i'm very particular i've got a broad food taste palette but i'm very particular about what i like and what i don't like if I like let's see um artichokes i don't like them i don't like them i i i i have tried them multiple times served differently i just don't like them and i'm very particular about certain things and yeah uh, that's just that's just who i is you're a clean freak i am a guys guys i have a problem do you know what i noticed the other day i noticed that i clean to stop myself from getting very angry i was upset with my friend ne? my friend my friend <laughs> apparently i can't i can't wink so i must stop that i was upset with my friend and me and my friend were about to get into a heated argument and i was telling myself in my head that yeah i'm gonna tell him to get off and then i realized that i was boiling i was on red i was very very high i mean what do you even mean i was very very high and then do you know what i did i cleaned I woke up that morning that we were supposed to have that meeting. I woke up and I cleaned this house inside out. By the time I was done, I was much more calmer than I was. So I feel like I use cleaning as a mechanism, as a coping mechanism to relax, to calm myself down, to... I'm just happier. I'm just happier when my space is clean because then I feel like I'm, I'm cleansed and my mind is cleansed and I'm calmer and I'm more relaxed. We do it all the time do it all the time but yes yes i clean quite a lot uh i have no assumption i just love love you cheers thank you love you too babes i used to think that you're a very serious person how tete i how tete means you just don't laugh at each and everything 
I'm not. I'm serious about certain things, guys. And I feel like maybe if you've been following me for a while, especially now during COVID, where I've released a lot of videos and vlogs and things, I feel like I hope that you've seen another side of me. That's more just like, Neh! whatever, relaxed. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy, go lucky, man, you know? Uh, but I laugh a lot. One of my favorite things to do is laugh. So if somebody can make me laugh, we're winning. You're my best friend. I'm your best friend. We can all be best friends. Ah, another one that was mentioned quite a lot. You're moneyed, but you're low key about it and you don't want to show it. Show me the money. Where is the money? What do you even. <laughs> show me the money. If, 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 if I'm moneyed, baby girl, show me. Where is it? Where am I hiding it? Where am I hiding it? Girl, bye. She. <clears throat> if I'm moneyed and all of you guys think I'm moneyed, I'm selling you a lie. I'm selling you a dream. <laughs> Don't believe me, I'm lying to you, okay? Don't believe me. <laughs> Don't believe me. If that's what you think, you think I'm sitting here on a pile of zang zang, zang zang gang, zang zang zang, I'm not. <laughs> I'm lying to you. I'm selling you a dream. Baby girl, show me the money. I think you're such a nice person with a good vibe and you would help those close to you so, so much. I do help those close to me so, so much. Um, I am a... <laughs> I'm also a member who falls within the black taxing market. Uh, I also, yes, I help people out. I help certain family members out. I... Yeah, but I, 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 I'm, I'm not going to shy away from saying that I'm a nice person and I care about the people that are close to me and I love them a lot and I help them when I can and all of that. I, I absolutely do. I do. And I hope God is seeing all of this caring because God, Father God, I'm just, I'm, I'm expecting those gates to just walk in. That's what I'm expecting. Or else Father, me and Father God going to have a problem. <laughs> we going to have a problem. That you love kids. I see it by how you entertain your little sister. But you don't want to have kids. No. I, no. No. I mean, I don't have a problem with having a kid or not. I, I don't necessarily have a problem. I love children. And I feel like children, children play with me. Okay, they play with my heartstrings. They make me broody sometimes, not very often, but they make me broody. They use me because I'm always buying them toys and clothes and things, and I feel used. I feel exposed and I feel used by children. I love children <laughs> so so much. Um, um, and and I feel like if a child comes, I mean, I'm more open to the whole idea of having a child now. I possibly could get pregnant sometime next year. I said it. I said it. <laughs> I said it. Um, but if I don't have them, that's also not a train smash. Uh, kids are not going to uh, validate my life any more than I've already validated it for myself. So it's not, it's not, going, to it's not going to change the price of bread. But I will love my children. I will love my children. You come from a well of family. Who, again, where are you seeing these things? Please somebody tell me. I need to call my dad. And then, and then tell him, and then ask him, and then ask him, do we come from a well of family? I need to call him. Okay, I'm calling my dad. Hello? Papa, I'm filming a video, okay? Okay. So just well, know, Hore, your response, okay? Yeah. So in the video, I'm answering a question where somebody says, uh, I'm assuming that you come from a well-off family. Do we come yeah. from a well-off family, Papa? Hmm? You come from hard workers. Okay. Yeah, hard workers, yeah. Okay. My, my mom and dad were hard workers. They were working. Yeah. They, were, they were not even middle-aged. Uh, uh, from between low, uh, lower class to middle class. Okay. Thank you, Papa. Bye. There you go. We come from hard workers. Okay? We come from hard workers. We all work hard. My sister works hard. I work hard. My daddy works hard. My mama works hard. Kanye works hard. 
She's working to be a YouTuber. Come on now, moving on. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on. You're an introvert, I absolutely am. This is hard for people to believe because people see me and they see me like this, where I'm laughing and vibing and and people think that there's no possible way. I am an introvert. I'm quite reserved about who I am and about my life. I'm a little bit worried about the video that I'm going to film next because it's quite expose. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll film it tomorrow. Um, but yes, I am an introvert. I am an introvert. Everything about me is an introvert. What you see when I'm going crazy and loving and whatever because I'm talking to a camera. As much as I may be talking to you guys and I love you guys for it, but I'm still alone. Do you think I would act like this if there were other people, if there were a crowd of people just watching me? Act a fool like this? No. No. You're a millionaire. Where? Oh. A milli, a milli, a milli, a milli. Where? <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> Please. Jesus. You know yourself. You know what you want and nothing stops you from achieving it. You're also a bookworm. I know myself. Yes. I know what I want. Absolutely. Nothing stops me from achieving it. Sometimes some things do, like money. There's certain things that I want to achieve, but they require a lot of money. And I just... Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet, but I'm, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You're engaged. Well, that answers your question. An A grade student. No, I wasn't. Yo, my Corona, my lowest mark was uh, in matric. There was something that I came out of. One of my subjects was 50 something. Everything was just like B, C's. I didn't get A's. Guys, guys, good tricky, good tricky. The last question is, you're not open to making more friends. You already have enough. No, what do you even mean? Oh, I mean, yes. I mean, no, I mean, yes. I'm not opening to making any new friends. Not open, no, I feel like not open makes it so final. Um, I'm not looking to make any new friends. I feel like the friend, yeah, that's it. I feel like the friends that I have, are great and they are just a lot to deal with. Balisa alone, a lot. Mbali, a lot. Dineo, a lot. Sabi, a lot. Like all of them are just a lot and they all come to me because, with their business. So I just have my plate really full. I also come to them with my business but I have my plate really full with my friends, honestly. So I'm not looking to make any new ones. Um, but when Palesa came into my life, Prudence, a lot. She's a very good friend of mine as well. But when Palesa came into my life, I wasn't looking to make new friends. But she, you know, so I'm not completely closed off to it. I'm just not actively looking to make new friends. But it doesn't mean that I don't want any new friends. I mean, I hope that answers your question. That's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to now film a Never Have I Ever, a dirty version of that. Wish me luck. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.